The shallowness of the water which made possible communication between these islands and the continent during the Pleistocene era now means the seabed is able to receive light and heat. The marine fauna and flora have here found conditions favorable to life, and a few places in the world can boast of such a profusion of forms. Here, a single bay may contain twice as many species as the entire Caribbean. In these submarine paradises, evolution has created beings so different from those of the surface that for many years scientists were at a loss to explain. This clownfish, for example, does not rub against a plant, but rather against an anemone, an animal of the polyp family. The anemone, with its stinging tentacles, protects the clownfish from its enemies. The fish, in return, cleans its protector of parasites. Long before science was able to study the symbiotic relationship between the clownfish and the anemone, the sea was, for man, a place of countless mysteries. Its depths were unreachable and its fauna in many cases unknown. <laughs> <laughs> 